Doing it the right way. Is that what your tap's supposed to look like, Kevin? All right, welcome back to CNC Equipment's YouTube videos. We are back in the land of bulldozers today. You guys see we've got an 850JR military dozer behind us. And uh, you might notice we've already installed limb risers in this video, and that's what this video is about. Anyway, we're going to show you guys how to install those here in a second. Um, we've sold this machine. We've got to install a set of limb risers. And I bought a machine last week in Pennsylvania, or actually just a couple days ago. And uh, it had a ripper on it, 850K, so we ended up selling the guy a ripper too, so we got to install ripper. We're going to do all that in this video here. Um, we're going to show you how we mount these. The military tractors are a little bit different than the civilian ones. Um, they have lifting hooks for the helicopters and stuff like that to pick them up, and there's no threaded nuts on top of the cab to fasten that stuff down. So we'll go through here, show you how we uh, install some of this stuff. And action! Swing it into the Jeep, bub. NMTB. Not my toolbox. I was here to help. Hey, somebody's got to do it. You can't replace me with just a tripod or something. You're doing a good job. What were you doing just two seconds ago? Facebook Marketplace. What was Tucker doing? Uh, he was up there. Facebook Marketplace. Hey. No. Yeah, there you go. Come on in, Bob. You're doing great. Grab that and pull down on the tucker. We gotta get you some bolts. Pull down on it. Maybe Kevin can offer an open put bolts in. Yep. Here I come. You need a... Ah, booby dog. He's the... Or she's the mascot. She is oh, the mascot. Oh, she is scared to death of welding. She was at... She was at camp at the um, dirt bike track this weekend. Yeah. Hey, what were you asking just a second ago? <laughs> I asked if you were videotaping you this. So that no. someone could ask... Hold on, a thousand I'm trying people to work. could ask if we have an overhead crane. Yeah. Yeah, where is our overhead crane? Denied. Denied. We're not getting an overhead crane at this time because he has chosen to spend his funds other ways. Hey, you know what a better question is? What's, What's a better, better question? Let's see, how come you've not put videos out for like two months? That's the number one question. Because huh. I have an infant in the house again. Huh. That's pretty obvious. That dog does not want anything to do with welding for some reason. Look at her. Look like she's bad behaved. I know. And she's not. She's, dog. she's just scared. She's the best girl. She's she just scared. Up. No, I can't pick her up. She's 53 All right. pounds. 53 pounds of iron. All right, Tucker, well done, front nuts. All right, Tucker. Bye, See ya. You're doing a good job. Thanks for approving the crane. No, it's not approved. <laughs> <laughs> It's not going to go in. I'll show you, tell you another way you can do it. How? Put a bolt, put the bolt there in the washers and pull it in. So I Tucker's got the ears welded in. We're going to put the rubber bushings in it. We took those out so he didn't burn them. Then we're going to put the bolt through there. Get that mounted, hinge that up, mark where we're going to weld on the upper mounts, and then uh, we'll grind those and weld those on. All right, my friend Tucker got done welding on all that. We got kind of got that propped up. We're gonna take it over next door and get that painted, but look what's behind me. 
Another 850 I bought last week in Pennsylvania just showed up late last night. We're gonna take the ripper off this dude and put on this dude. But the only problem is, Kevin, the wrong color. it's the wrong color. So, this, I don't know what year this 850K is. It's like 2013 or 14. Not a bad looking ripper. They've been greasing it, so I like that. It's a good sign. Um, I think we've elected to pull the pins out here, separate it, and we'll get it washed and painted separate. Is that right? Yeah. And then we'll bolt it back on that tractor. So yeah, yeah. that's the game plan. We're going to get the hydraulics unhooked, pull this pin out, this pin out, separate that, and then we'll pull the ears off the tractor. So we're ready to get after it. What did you lose out there? Walter? Shim, probably. Tucker, you gonna pull a pin out from over there? I guess. Well, that's not everybody getting the danger zone. Move, Tucker. Keep your feet up, man. It may be in your tool if it moves, too. Go on out of way. I notice when I do things with loud noises, I raise my eyebrows the whole time. Well, we'll Go get ahead. action shot. <laughs> okay. Did you think I wasn't pushing? Well, I was going to help you. Get on your forklift. You like his forklift. No, I, I might kill someone. That's fine. <laughs> well, let me get out of the way first. Tilt it, tilt it back first. I can do everything except move forward and backwards. Oh, I've got a pretty good bit. policy it's, on me, but it's I don't not want a tailor. It's not a tailor. It's just what was sitting outside. Give her some fuel, bud. What? Give her fuel. <laughs> Tilt her back first. Pushing has walked out on this thing and it's stuck in that ear. You know, bushing slid out and made a little ear right there. It was kind of catching on the light, didn't want to come off. Kevin's dusting it up. Nothing major. This episode of Who's a Man? Oh, did you hurt your fingernail, Nancy? No, I cut my finger open yesterday. Oh, go down a little. Oh, back up a little. Back on up. You got her. All right, got the ripper all off that. I took it outside, gonna Randy wash it, and I'll we'll have the guy sand it down, get that thing painted green. Then we'll get it stuck on that. Make sure you guys are subscribed because we got probably another video coming out on this thing. I just bought it. It's got some uh, got some issues going on up in here, so make sure you're subscribed. Try to share our videos on Facebook, other platforms too. It helps us out a lot. So 
We'll see you back here in a couple seconds. All right, went ahead and took the limb risers off, decided to paint them separate. One had two bolts in it anyway, so we'll let the guys scotch bright that. The customer wanted the green. And then you can just touch up the spots on top of the cab there. Doing it the right way. The CNC way. I can't wait for this to break off on video. Oh, uh, yeah, with my own um, cutting fluid. Cutting fluid. I'm, we're not making new threads, we're just cleaning them out, people. Yeah. It does make for lots of comments. All right, Kevin got the ripper stuff painted. We're gonna get it bolted on here shortly. He, we took the limb risers off, he got those painted and we'll put those all on here in a bit. All right, my friends are picking up an ear. I got a couple lineup studs threaded in here. Tucker got all the uh, holes tapped out and he didn't even break the tap, good job. All right, start piecing her back together. Forks for it a little bit again. Okay. Can you see or not? Need to go up. Come on in. Come on in. girlfriend guys Look at that. John Rambo right there you feel like John Rambo when you grab a one inch Milwaukee that's right no, no. Feels good. Hey, another disappointment my father gives me <laughs> there we go what happens when you run your tap in then you go to back it up and it stops it's never a good thing if you gave me a Big thick piece of steel and a 12 millimeter tap. Is that what your tap's supposed to look like, Kevin? Yeah, pretty much. It's that new design. Slightly used. Snap on guy needs a tap. Are you getting rid of the rest of my tap? You got the glasses on. Okay, safety first. This is how you remove the broken tap. That's right. There it is. Steal them sparks. Fixed it. This has still got some good threads on it. Yeah. Fifty and I'm not very, very good at gambling. Hmm. We don't know. We're gonna go ahead and hook those up. We got the lower pins in and slid in nicely. We made sure all the grease fittings took grease too. It would do something like that. We may have to make some new ones with 90s on them. Yeah. Okay. We'll hook those up next before we put these upper arms in. It's a smart idea. And we're smart, right? No. Yeah. I come with new hoses. You come by and guess? You're not making a mess, are you? Oh. Okay. Better not stand there. Well, we got the forklift under it. All right, we get some new hoses on. Now breaking loose. Hopefully the ripper valve works on this machine.
sucking her in. Where's the pen's on here? Captain Leaky Heister. Probably this one. Yep. Now look at that forklift operator. You know, like slid that dude in there by yeah, himself. But guess what? I gotta put the pin through that way somehow. That's Kevin. You have to put the camera down. We can't afford a camera operator. <laughs> It's in the hole. I think your, I think your father's telling you, watch yourself. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh well, fell ahead. Oh, on this episode of Who's a Man? Who's a Man? No. Don't let the camera people see that. Don't like That's all right. Safety points. We have done it. We have rippered. All right, we got her all on. Everything went pretty good. Tucker's gonna fire it up, make sure it uh, moves up and down, works right, and uh, let that valve and stuff's good in the tractor. And we're gonna back it up. Let's put the limb risers on it. You ready? I'm ready. Okay, you got her all painted today, didn't you? All painted. I think he went the wrong way with the leather. You're gonna have to take that toolbox off. Take your blade up and back her up. I didn't think that happened. I knew these close. So we got the lines backwards. We're gonna have to take the toolbox off. We can fix that. Well, they usually cleared the toolboxes. It must have hit it pretty hard doing that. Yeah, it slid it up. I don't know. They usually are like real close. It had to have been like almost out of stroke. Yeah, that lever's backwards. Of course it is. That's why I had you back over the pit. So when you break the lines loose and swap them there. All right, let's go ahead and get the limb risers on. You're gonna have to take the toolbox off and cut a new back plate out and do away with that toolbox. The toolbox does blocks your view of the ripper anyway, so. That's what I got made. And guess what? We need another sticker. It says John Deere. I might have them upstairs. Okay, let's get these limb risers on. Perfect. So it's going to be a little while. It's going to get cut that plate out. It's got to paint it. Got to put a decal on it. And that's going to be a whole nother project. So I think this turned out good. 